In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to create a KDP low content maze puzzle book interior to upload onto the Kindle Direct Publishing platform. So if you haven't been here before, my name is Rory and I run this channel called Mr. Rosa. And in today's video, we're gonna be looking at specifically the Amazon KDP business. But before we get into all of that, can I just ask you guys to hit that like and subscribe button? It'd mean a lot to me. So if you could just go and do that now, that would be greatly appreciated. But anyway, let's just get on with the rest of this video. So I'm sure as you've heard me talk about in my other videos, the activity niche is very, very popular at the moment due to this coronavirus lockdown. People are stuck inside wanting things to do. And within that activity niche, you've got games such as puzzles. And within puzzles, you've got things such as mazes, as we're gonna talk about in today's video, and word searches, which I've talked about in a different video. If you'd like to watch that, I'll leave a link up there. And coloring books and Sudoku, all sorts of things like that. But the difference in today's video is I'm gonna be showing you how to create it using only free software. Because before I've shown you how to do it using Adobe Illustrator, which for some people that might be quite expensive. But I'm gonna be showing you how to do it using only free software. But firstly, let's just jump straight into the computer and let's have a look at how well these kind of books are doing. So to start off with, we're gonna be going to Amazon and let's just search up a maze notebook. And this is what would come up. So as you can see, the first four are all sort of kids maze notebooks. So we've got a, a learning one. And if we just go and have a look at this one, as you can see, it has 1,645 reviews. And let's just have a look at what kind of stuff they have inside. So this just looks like it's an activity book in general. But as you can see on this page, you can see there is sort of mazes inside it. And if we have a look at the bestsellers rank for that, it has a best sellers rank of 555, so that is selling a lot. And if we have a look at some others, Maze Book for Kids, ages four to eight years old, Notebook Journal, and let's have a look inside. And as you can see, it's just very, very simple mazes. And I'm gonna show you guys how you can create these. And this looks like something that could be quite good. So it has a best sellers rank of 823,000, which is still quite high but as you can see, just very, very simple mazes. So as you can see, there is only 632 results for this. But say if we type in a maze book, it would come up with 6,000 results. So maybe maze notebook isn't the right sort of keyword you would want to be putting into your titles, for example, because it doesn't look like they're searched as much. But as you can see, if we just have a look at these, this has more reviews. And if we have a look inside at what sort of stuff they've got, they've just got very simple mazes with a, a small graphic on the outside. And yeah, they look very intriguing and interesting for a kid from ages eight to 12. If we have a look at the best sellers rank for this, it has a best sellers rank of 1,411. So let's just tie that in, 1,411, search calculate. So it's making 1,718 sales per month. So that is a good amount of profit. Now, 6,000 results may be a bit too much for you guys. So what you'd do is you would niche down. So I'm gonna search up a dog maze notebook, uh, maze book. And as you can see, it only comes up with 245 results. But if we look at the top book, a dog activity book, you can see that it has a best sellers rank of 45,000. So once again, if we type that in, just type in the normal 45,000, it is making around 100 sales per month. So that is very, very good. And it looks like these people have added in a bunch of different activities. So we've got uh, mazes, picture puzzles, step-by-step uh, -step drawings, coloring pages, and all sorts of stuff like that. So yeah, once again, niching down is very important so you can create lots of different books to appeal to different people. So like cat lovers, dog lovers, lizard lovers, whatever you want. So now let's just move straight on to the software where you can download these mazes. Now, this one is a free one I found. You can download it for free using on interiors for free. And it looks very good. As you can see, it's just a very, very simple maze and you can generate all sorts of different mazes and you can change the sizes of it. So the wolf thickness. So let's increase that and see what happens. So it just makes the maze a bit bigger. 
let's just decrease that back to 10 and then different columns, how many different columns you want. So you can make it how difficult you want depending on what kind of book you want to be creating. So if you're wanting just to create free ones, this is a great software to do that, very, very simple. But if you would like to pay a small fee for a maze generator, this is the one I would definitely recommend you guys to go for. And if we have a look at the commercial use for it, it shows you that if you want to use it individually, individual mazes without attribution requirement, so per maze, it would be in dollars, $9.35. But I would probably go for the unlimited mazes because it could become quite expensive doing individual ones. Because say if you've got 60 per book, then that would definitely come to more than the $99. I would go for the unlimited mazes without attribution requirement. So it would come to about $200 per year. But say if you get a top selling book, you can make that back easily in a month. But yeah, just for today's video, as a better example, we're going to be using this one because even though for commercial use, you have to pay to download it, just normally you don't have to pay a small fee. But we're just going to be using this as an example. So as you can see, we can change the different shapes that we want. So I'm going to go for something a bit different, so hexagonal. And then if we just click generate now, as you can see, it's created a hexagonal maze with a small centerpiece where the end of the maze would be. Now we can change all of this. So I'm going to just change that down to nine, see what happens. And it just decreases the size a bit. And then in a side length, let's just go, let's just go five. And it creates a larger middle bit. Now, the way I'm going to create my book, I'm going to be wanting a larger middle bit because when we go over to actually creating it, I'll show you the reason why. So I'm just going to go back to the normal 12 and then create this. I'm going to start off with 15. So this is a very, very simple maze and it'd be very easy for kids. So what you would then do is click on this drop down and go over to PNG. Then once you've clicked that, you would want to click the download button and it would just download uh, down here for me in the bottom left. And then you would also want to download the solution version. Then what you're going to want to do is go over to your free software. So the one I'm going to be using in today's video is one called Canva. I'm sure you guys have all heard of it before. I've talked about it in a different video, but it is very, very good at just creating free interiors for your Amazon KDP business. So if we click the create design and then click this drop down and click on inches, you would then pick the certain width and height that you would want. And um, for me, I'm going to go for the six by nine. So that's one I, I personally like and one I use very often. You're going to want to drag your hexagonal uh, maze onto the page. I'm just going to close that down and then drag it to the size you would want. So I'm just going to keep dragging that out till it gets to about the edges and I'm just going to center it in the middle there. So that is looking very, very good for me at the moment. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to a site called Pixabay. Now I'm going to be leaving these all in the description below for Canva and Pixabay. So you guys don't have to face any trouble of searching for it yourself. Then I'm going to go for a dog themed maze. So I'm going to search up uh, dog cartoon and see what comes up. So what we're looking for is a black and white dog on its own that we can use on our interior. So this may take a bit of time to find, but I'm just going to keep scrolling until I find something I like. And this looks good for me. So what I'll do is I'll then click the free download button. Just click download, click this. I'm not a robot, click download. And then you would go back into your Canva design, drag the downloaded image and just drag it into the center of your page. Now I'm going to downscale it a bit so it looks all right. Uh, it looks good for me. So now kids have a more visual way of seeing what they have to do. So they will have to go in the maze and search for the dog. Then if you wanted to get rid of like the top space, you could add a heading using the add heading button in Canva, just drag it to the top. And then say if you wanted to have different levels for your interior, what you would do is just type level 
1. So now we have our level 1. All you would have to do is click add new page and then what I would do is go back to my maze generator and instead of having the inner side lengths of 11, I would just decrease it by 1 and change it to 10. And then click, don't click the solution. And there it makes it slightly more complicated. So then you can just keep doing this process going down in the levels all the way up to how many levels you would want. So I'm just going to click download again. Go back into here. Drag in the maze. Just drag it in there. Change it to the size that we want. So I'm, I'm going to want to match it the same as this one. And then once it's in the center, we can go back and try and find another image with a dog or depending on what, what animal you want to use. So I'm just gonna search for something and I'm just gonna click free download on this one. Obviously there's a bit of red there, but when Amazon come to print it, they'll change that to black and white depending on what color interior you use. And then just drag the dog into the center again, downscale it and just drag it wherever you would like. So I'm just gonna move that down a bit and that is looking good for me. Then what I do is click the add heading again, just drag it to the top and just change that to level two. And there we have the first two pages of our maze book interior. So depending on how many pages you want to use, say if you wanted to have 100 pages, what I would do is I would have 50 pages of different levels and then the other 50, so like I would put level one text again, level, so you could put, I don't know, level one answer. I'll just drag in the solution to the maze. So yeah, you can just follow this same process going down and well, there you have it. There you would have your maze book interior. So I hope you guys found that video useful. If there's any sort of interiors you would like me to talk about or to design for you guys, Leave that in the comments below. I'll be reading and replying to all your comments. And well, make sure once again you hit that like and subscribe button. It doesn't take you half a second to do. We are going for that goal of 1,000 subscribers by the 1st of June. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one, guys. Goodbye.